there, my name is Kate and welcome to Mary Kate. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create the transition transition braid pigtails that I wore in my Red Roses lookbook a few weeks ago. Also, I'm very sorry if the room that I'm in is echoey. I'm in my bathroom again, but we got new lights, so the lighting is so much better and it's not yellow anymore. For this hairstyle, you are going to need a comb to make sure that your hair is all combed out and nice and easy to work with. Also, a rat tail brush or comb. This is a brush, a teasing brush, but you're just gonna need a really thin end of a comb to part your hair. You're also going to need some water. Now, this is optional, but spraying your hair down with water is so much easier to work braids into your hair just because it's more tame. And to be sure that your style stays in, just some hairspray, and this is the Suave Max Hold hairspray. And for hair ties, you can either use small black hair ties or the clear elastics. And this hairstyle can be manipulated in so many different ways. You could do the pigtails like I'm going to show you today. You could do one braid straight down the back of your head. You could do this braid into a ponytail. There are so many different options for this transition braid combo. So to start off, you're just going to comb your hair through to make sure that it is not knotted. Then you're going to, this is where you would take some water and just spray that in your hair to make it nicer. And today you can actually see the purple color that I put in my hair a few weeks ago because I kept forgetting to show it up close. So now you'll get to see it. Okay, then you're just going to part your hair and I would recommend parting it right down the center or just slightly off. So I think I'm just gonna do the center. And you're gonna slip that all the way down the back of your head. Just remember that if you do an off-center part to make sure that, sorry, I dropped the hair tie. To make sure that the part in the back will even it out. So if you chose a right part, try to move the part to the left side in the back so that you don't have one side that's hair heavy. And now you are ready to begin. So you're going to take a small section at the top of your forehead divide it into three sections. And you could also do this with different braids. I'm just doing a French and a French and Dutch version today, but you could do this with fishtails and probably twists. Just this is my favorite and the basic version. So you're gonna start off with the French version. But like I said, this can be manipulated in so many different ways. So if you wanna start off with a Dutch, then go right ahead and do that. Okay, so once you have gathered up all the hair on the top of your ear, that is when I like to start the transition. And I like to start on the outside, so adding hair in from the outside section before the, sen the section that's closest to your part. So I'm gonna take up a section of hair and hopefully the camera focuses on this, but you're gonna add it to the outside section and since you were just doing a French, you would wanna pull it over, but you're just gonna pull it under instead. And then your hands should be adjusted to just continue that Dutch braid all the way down the rest of the hair. Now, if you would like, you can switch a few more times. I am just doing the switch once into the Dutch braid. So once you reach the ends, you can just tie it off with an elastic. And then I like to go and pancake whatever section is the Dutch version, which for me, I like the second section to be Dutch. So I'm just gonna go back and gently pull on the edges because
because I do have short hair, so if I pull any more than like the smallest bit, I will have huge chunks of hair falling out. And once you get to that top one, just to tug on it a little bit. Spray it with some hairspray to make sure, <coughs> I just swallowed some hairspray, I'm sorry, to make sure that the hairstyle will stay. And I'm gonna switch it when I get to the outside section of my ear. look I really hope that you enjoyed this hair tutorial and if you would like me to do more in the future please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below to be notified whenever I upload videos I will see you next week with another new video bye